The Dyer Avenue line stands out within the New York City transit network, with its routes tracing back to the New York, Westchester, and Boston Railway. Adding to its uniqueness is Track Y3, a late 1990s addition primarily for testing purposes. But what sets Track Y3 apart? Track Y3 incorporates an additional negative return rail alongside the traditional third rail set. For those unfamiliar, trains operate using a traction system akin to a large circuit. The third rail supplies the positive voltage from a traction substation. However, just like any circuit, a negative return current is necessary. Typically, this is achieved using the running rail closest to the third rail, with the second rail carrying an AC current for the signaling system at 25 or 60 hertz, usually around 10 or 12 volts AC. Certain sections of the subway system, such as track Y3 and the INDs, tracks F3, F4, F5, F3A and F4A necessitate a fourth rail to manage resistance effectively. This addition serves to prevent leakage and stray current. By providing an extra path, the second rail facilitates easier current travel, ensuring a smooth return to the traction substation. Stray currents pose risks, potentially causing electricity to seek alternative paths through the ground, which can damage structures and utilities, leading to issues like electrolysis and erosion. The inclusion of the fourth rail helps mitigate these risks by offering a more controlled path for current return flow. A common question we receive pertains to the differences between the traction setups in London and New York City, particularly concerning the inclusion of a fourth rail in London's system. Let's quickly delve into their similarities. Both cities employ a direct current DC traction system with varying voltage and current. In London, the standard setup includes a fourth rail for negative return, primarily to accommodate the signaling circuit. Given that both traction power and signaling systems in London rely on DC, it's crucial to separate them to avoid interference. London's arrangement involves using running rails for signaling and the third and fourth rails for positive and negative traction, respectively. This configuration proves beneficial for London's deep tube routes, especially those utilizing tunnel rings, as it helps mitigate current leaks. Conversely, New York City's system typically operates with just three rails in most scenarios. This is largely due to the signaling system's utilization of AC power phase track circuits. This setup allows the running rails to serve dual purposes for both traction and signaling, reducing the risk of interference. That's our time. Make sure to subscribe for more content. This is Rob signing off until next time.